Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to share with you a couple of really interesting Tkinter themes that I stumbled upon very recently. So these themes actually enable you to create a much more modern looking app with Tkinter, which is usually a very common complaint that most Python developers have, that Tkinter is super outdated, you can't really create these very modern looking interfaces, it looks straight out of the early 2000s, and it's understandable. So while there are multiple alternatives that you can use, multiple libraries, multiple methodologies, this is just yet another alternative in which you can use these themes. So this is one of the themes that you can see right here. This is what is called the forest theme. And we'll talk about this as well as two other themes in this video. So here I have the first theme. This is called the Azure TTK theme. So this one is really interesting. Here you actually have this sort of bluish theme and you have both a dark mode as well as a light mode. So you can take a look here. Now, one thing this developer did, actually the user is called RD Bendy. I'm not I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, so really sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. I tried to find out more about the creator, by the way, but I didn't really find much information online. So if you are the creator or if you know who it is, please let me know so I can more properly credit them for these really cool themes. So this is the first theme. As you can see, as I said, dark mode, light mode, it looks really good. Now the second theme is called the forest theme and it gives a look sort of similar to Microsoft Excel. So here your t interface would be very similar in style to Excel. So you can see the green accents, the gray colors, the white, it all looks very close to Excel. And even the dark mode looks very similar to the Excel dark mode on Windows. So this is also super interesting. I haven't seen any other um, custom theme for Tkinter look like this. So it's really interesting. And again, you can use it in a similar way. So I'll show you how in just a second. The third theme is called the Sun Valley theme. Now here, what this one does is it actually makes your Tkinter interface look very close in style to Windows 11. So if you're developing apps solely for Windows 11, I would highly recommend this because then your apps would actually look native and then it would mount the rest of your desktop and it would look super nice, super sleek. So how can you actually use these themes? Now, going back to the Azure theme as well as the forest theme, these have a similar method to use them. So in each of these, there is actually a theme created in a .tcl file. So you can see here azure.tcl. And if you actually go inside the theme folder in GitHub, what you will find there we go. What you will find is both the dark.tcl and the light.tcl. So what they do is they provide the theme for your app. Now, in order to use them, they actually provide us with a sample app. So you can see here there's example.py. So what I did is I went ahead and actually cloned this entire repo into my VS code. So you can see here, I have here the Azure TTK theme. So there we go. And here is example.py of the first theme. Now, if I actually stop whatever I have running and run this, you can see this is the Azure theme. This is how it looks like. And this is now in dark mode. So this is how the theme looks. Again, super modern, super interesting. You have here check buttons and they have three states, in fact. So you can see this is unchecked, checked, and they even provide us with a third state. You have radio buttons. This one is disabled. This one is selected. You have a switch button, a toggle button, an accent button like this. So if you hover over it, now you have a, just a regular button, an option menu, a menu button and things like that. So I'm not going to go through all, the entire thing, but as you can see, it's super interesting and it has many things. You, you also have these tabs here. So tab widgets are super common, super useful, especially in more complex applications. So this is how it looks like. Now, of course, in order to use it, we can refer to the code of this example.py and you can see here, after they create the, the tkinter window, so here you have root equal tk dot tk. So this is how we usually create the tkinter window. What they do after setting the title all source, and this is azure dot tcl, and then they set the theme to dark. So we can actually try setting it to light so we can actually get light mode. Now running it, as you can see, this is light mode. There's a spin box here. So this is where you actually change um, based on a numerical value. There's an entry, there's a combo box, there's all sorts of things. So this is a really good demo. Feel free to check it out. Feel free to clone the repository yourself and play around with it. Check out the different elements and the things you can do with it. This is super interesting and it can help you actually create much more modern applications. We want to take a look at the second theme, which was the forest theme. So you can see here we're calling source, which is forest-light.tcl. So this is, of course, after cloning this repository right here, you have the TCL file, forest dark and forest light. 
and you actually have the example.py. This is the file that I'm currently using. So running it, there you go. You have the same features, everything is the same, but the theme looks different and it matches this sort of Excel vibe. That now the third theme, which is the Sun Valley theme. Now this one is a little bit different. You don't actually have to call a TCL file in order to load the theme. What you can do here is you can actually download this as a Python package. So you can use pip install sv-ttk. And then what this will do is you will actually have it and you'll be able to import it. So after doing so, you can use it. There's tons of documentation here, so I'm not going to go through this. Now, all of these themes are actually really well documented. So I really do recommend that you go ahead and check them out. Try to build something with them. And of course, if you want to see me build something totally new with them in a separate tutorial, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely get to that. That's really it for this short video. I just wanted to share these with you as I just came across them very 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 recently and i thought they were really interesting please let me know if you enjoyed it leave a like if you did and i'll see you in the next one bye bye